Yeah. Welcome back. Uh, so, we're just, this is a completely fucking random ass <laughs> episode just for everyone to wear. Like normal. So, uh, probably more, probably more, more random than normal for the pure fact of, uh, before we went and recorded this episode, Rago was asking me, is there a, correct me if I'm ver- phrasing this wrong, is there a, a snack that I go to every time? What's your go-to? Your go-to yeah, snack go-to that, like, snack. either your family thinks is weird, or like you absolutely just don't care. You'll get it no matter what. And I say like my mine is cheese. It's but like I have two flavors of like buffalo or hot and spicy. Like those are two. If I have like one box left in the house, I get another box at the store. I don't care. I have to have a backup because I go through them so damn fast because the boxes are so small. But like I can I can sit there. I can eat it. Like. Do you combine them the whole way? damn box? Those are, that's like no, a I don't. good way to do it. No, because I like just to have the independent flavors. I don't like to combine them. I don't really like that. I like it that way. I don't like to mix it. I'm the child. Okay. Yes, you're the child. Okay. Yes. Just because I'm fucking 15 years younger than you. Just independent. Independent flavors. That's how I like it. You'll have to taste each one of them. But again, I cannot sit there. I've noticed I can't just eat one at a time. It's like four or five at a time. Oh, I guess not. It's like I'm trying to think, and how do you not have one? I don't. I also don't have like, like if I have, for example, I guess Skittles, maybe, and any of them. That's the correct. The gummies, fuck the gummies. The gummies are fucking disgusting. They're not um, bad. They are so Skittles bad. gummies. They don't even They're taste not. like Skittles. They taste like you. No. It's like you stuck it in diet Sprite and then you left it and then you decided to crush it up into sugar and then just add it to regular gummy mix that has no flavor in it. And it's just, this is the essence. It's disgusting. It tastes like shit. Um, no, I don't like, surprisingly, I don't buy snacks for myself too often. I buy snacks for like the kids. I don't either, but that's once that, like that. Like, I buy snacks for the kids. I buy snacks for my wife. I don't buy myself snacks. Mm-hmm. So like when you see me come even on here on Thursday nights, I have candy. That's literally just the candy I walk by. Went, oh yeah, that sounds good today. Because it it changes. <laughs> where like, um, is it? so Friday we did a a movie night. I did a movie night thing for the kids because you know it's the first. First full week of uh, school for my son. Second full week of school for my daughter. Or I guess first full week of uh, school for my daughter. And like we went out and I, I went to Papa Murphy's and I got them their own little build a pizza kit. Then went to Dollar Tree slash Target and picked them a box of candy. And they got to make their own pop their own pizza. They got popcorn. I got candy. And they got to watch a movie and stay up late. Uh, which totally didn't bite us in the ass at all. Playing a fucking four and seven year old say a plate. Um, but yeah, even then, like I, I think the candy I bought myself was was lemon heads. No. Not, yes. What do you call lemon heads? Well, just you lemon shit on and you just shit with. on. Yeah. yeah. Boy, there's lemon drops and there's lemon heads. Which lemon drops is probably spheres. more. Up They're both the same. Like the... yeah, one looks like a, an actual lemon. I think that's probably a lemon drop. Because lemon drop has a kind of like a, a sugar, a sugar coating. Yeah, it goes yeah. along with your words as originals. My grandparents had the same thing. Next to the words, the words are original. So that's probably what you have is a lemon drop. <laughs> no, it was lemon fuck. drop. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, it was a hard, small lemon heads. I do like okay. the big lemon heads that have like the candy coating on them. Uh, but again, this is like this is tart, sourish candy. Lemon drops are also good for me. Uh, that's one though I really do like. Like putting malic acid more on it, just destroying my tongue. Um, but like that's what I got myself, and then a few days before that, or I guess a day before that, for when we were gaming on Thursday. I had fucking Mike and Ike's. And then before that, I had jelly beans, like jelly belly jelly beans. And then before fucking that, I had candy. German chocolate. <laughs> fucking candy. 
every no, time. No, it's not every time. It's literally the only days I don't take my apple cider vinegar gummies. Because, like, if I take that gummy, I don't crave sugar at all, which is why you're seeing me, like, drink water. I'm not drinking soda. I'm not drinking my sugary liquor. I'm not eating candy. But the days I literally forget, and I'm like, ah, it's already, like, 3 p.m. I forgot. Oh, well. And I go grocery shopping, or I go to the store, and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> bad candy. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't have a good two snack. I would say sour, I guess, like sour candy, if I have an option. Mm -hmm. I'll take the, the warheads, I'll take the toxic waste, and then it just destroys the inside of my mouth with sour, citrusy goodness, yeah. <laughs> but I do like me some caramel chews. That's not because that's I'm surprising. old, that's because I had braces for so long, I couldn't have them. <laughs> no, I think it, we have, I think our biggest thing in the house is Likewise, either like the like I said, cheese for me, like chips for the kids and everything else. Like chips is like the go to for everybody in the house. Yeah, that's the every same time. option. Yeah. Chips. But it's not like and I can't fuck I hate Takis, but like they, they love Takis. Those taste but it's like, like fucking cardboard. I I don't like how fucking crunchy they are. So it's it's like I don't like the flavor. Part, it feels like I don't I don't care for them. I don't eat them. I'll have every like I like, I like every now and then. I like crunchy chips, but Mm -hmm. Hockey's taste like fucking cardboard, so I can't. Oh my gosh, it. they love them, and they have a bad habit of fucking dust. Like the Cheeto dust you get on your hands. Oh no, it's caked that's, on their yeah, hands. That's so much worse. And they're like than Cheetos. It gets close, close to their hand, their mouth. I'm like, you do it. And I swear, I'll break your fingers off. Okay. Those fingers go in your mouth. I will break them off. And I'm like, no, I'm saving it. Like that's disgusting. Don't <laughs> take your nasty talky <laughs> talky dust covered fingers. And wash them. That is disgusting. I'm so but yes, my kids and the same. Anybody listening says yes. That takes a lot of talkies to get that build up. Yes, they've had. They sat there and I've caught them eating a bag of. Yeah, and yeah they, they've done it. Long. No, but yes, they've they've tried to eat a whole damn bag. So yes, I mean, I mean, but no, it's I can't do it. And then like another one is like uh, lace potato chips and Valentina on top of it that is um dangerously addicting as well i will say it's really good like i'm not judging i i like it but it's it's one of those like i am not a salty guy i will take sugary stuff well, are you are you sure you're not salty in the food realm <laughs> the realm of food i am not in personal life may, maybe kind of i don't know i don't think i am so see, like, I would rather have, I'd rather have more spicy than I would sour, unless you go back to the fucking chip challenge to where I just wanted to die that night. And I almost, I'm pretty sure I almost did die that night. That pretty sure my stomach blew up. Blew up. On our YouTube channel, two guys from Game Pass. So pretty like sure it's there, so. that was the worst stomach ache I've ever had in my life. When you sit there and take a chip from Satan's taint and chew on that thing, there's no one other band. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That, that whole thing—I've seen that. Yeah, this thing, this thing about killed me. I still got it. Yeah. I about fucking killed me. The pocky one shit. This thing about killed me. Yep, yeah. I about died. I have Worst it there. stomach ever had in my life. It's a memento to poor decisions mm -hmm. made. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's still there too. It's right yeah, by you Deadpool. Me, you fucker. Yeah, that was that was one thing. Like I love spicy stuff, but that was not. That's not even like entertaining. And my kids, my kids like the jelly bean, like the, the jelly bean challenge thing. Oh, yeah. What the, the fuck's it called? Boozle bean. Uh, bean boozle, whatever, yeah. Bean boozle bean. That thing. Bean, yeah. No. Yes, that's their, they're all like, oh, let's do this. I'm like, yeah, sure. That's fine. Like, it's, I know it's not going to kill me. It may taste like shit for a second, but it's not going to bother me. They get it and it's all dramatic. Run, on the, run around the room, throw themselves on the floor. They're children. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Their children. I know. I'm the one that like I will purposely break in half and just go. Eh. Nope, don't like that one. I'm not putting that whole fucking thing in my mouth. You kidding me? Because yep. then it's in my teeth. It just sits there, and I'm like, mm, it's all there. I can feel it. Mm, where they go? Where they go? Brush. They go brush right now. 
Mm. But you're talking, you're talking like snacks. So like I, when I think like spicy food, that is definitely more of like a, a, my meals. I will take spicy food for meals, but like snack on no. Take my, my oh no, see, I'll... sugary sweet, my sugary sour candy. But like, I'll take uh, I'll eat jalapenos. It's like sliced jalapenos. I'll eat stuff like that as well. Just like just for the spice of it, but um, spicy chips and stuff like that. See, I don't know. I'd rather have that stuff. Than... I like spicy food. I'll eat a jalapeno. Well, I mean, like I can't just go by like I can do habanero. I'm, I'm just myself. I'm just I'm just saying. I hate Plus... myself like that. Whitest thing. <laughs> the whitest thing. It's like that, yeah, that, black pepper. That's yeah, it's true. No, I'm not gonna sit there and munch on, because it, it has it has some heat to it. And I can sit there and enjoy like multiple. I can't uh, sit there and chew on habaneros. <laughs> blow up my asshole later. I have. That was a bad idea. idea. That's, yeah, not a good idea. Yeah. I don't remember Ooh. why we even had habaneros that night. Honestly. It's like looking back, I don't know where they even came from. <laughs> it wasn't me, it wasn't my house. But yeah, just, uh, they appeared at some point. I don't we know. ate them. Because like now this has me like kind of questioning things because like I'm I, I buy all the groceries, I buy all the food. Because I enjoy that mm-hmm. type of stuff. But I don't get myself snacks. I'm the one that will bring everything home and then like a day or two later I was like, oh man, I really want a snack. I didn't get myself fucking anything. Shit. <laughs> Slam the door. Well, yeah, because when you're doing it, like you're not. I'm the same way. I'm not thinking about it. I will walk by stuff like, oh, those are those are good, but like, no, I need to get this before I get anything else. But then everybody else is like, oh, can I have something? Kind of this, that, that. Like, okay, yeah, if I'm right here, buy it. Yeah. What did I forget about to get myself something too? Yeah. And if it's not that, then more likely it's something peanut butter that I end up getting. Ah, yeah. Yeah. But so yeah, really good, with the exception. Fuck Reese's. I hate you so much. I fucking hate you so Fuck much. Reese's. So we had I, we had I, this I, argument I uh, one episode ago, die. a few episodes ago. We had this argument every year, especially around Halloween and Christmas time. That's true. It's Fuck true. Reese's. I hate you. Oh my god. The only good Reese's is a Reese's Pieces. No, those are the, again. Say it again. Those are the worst ones. By far the worst. Don't the taste chocolate. anything like peanut butter. Nothing. Yeah, but you guess what? Their chocolate is not noticeable. Unlike the Reese's cup, the chocolate they use in that, terrible. Don't like it. It's good. I'm also not a big chocolate guy. Like, if I get chocolate, this is where my bougie ass side comes out. I will go get the the imported chocolate from Germany or from Hungary or from. You know, it is a way different though. chocolate. I will agree. Now that he's been overseas, he can't argue. I've with had me. as no, before. He would fight me on this shit. Now I, I cannot taste the difference in between a uh, a German Snickers and an American Snickers. I don't taste the difference. To me, the, the taste is the same. There, but I will like the lion, the lion bar that I like. I like better than the, the Snickers bar. Not that I'm a huge Snickers bar I'm, fan. I'm just but. hoping the words Hershey's doesn't ever pop out of your mouth. As I like these. I like Hershey's. As far as like Hershey's, like Hershey's bars, yeah. like Hershey's like chocolate in general. Just oh, I, I don't mind it. Like it's not. But again, I don't eat a whole lot of chocolate. But like, like I said, this one oh, is my my new like candy bar that I love. And the color, yes, they are. And I now found out that they sell them here, so I can get them. It makes me very happy. And guess who he's going to blame in three to four months' time when he packs on another ten pounds? No, oh, I've had no. I've had that one since I got back. Oh. I haven't opened that thing yet. I've had, I only I don't eat it very often. Yeah, but now they sell them in your in your area. I have to go. To, it's one store. It's a world market that I have to drive like fifteen minutes to go to. That I don't ever go to over there. Fifteen minutes is not right. long. Not a long drive. Yeah, but it's not in any direction of where I go on a daily basis. So? It's out of my way. I won't go. It's out of my way. I won't go. But it has your candy. Yeah, I don't. I don't eat candy like that. Like chocolate like that. I don't eat chocolate like that. <laughs> you will. No, that's there. Oh, it's been. It's been there since I got back. No, no. I haven't. 
I haven't gone. You, you're going. This will now be a I went one time. Messaging. You'll be. There you go. You'll be. I was in. I was there in June. That was it. I haven't gone back. <laughs> so I have three of them right there. I won't go back. That pack is gone in like a week. <laughs> I've had that since I got back from. Uh, fuck where we at? That'd be gone in like. Oh, Whatever we went like earlier this year. Spain. No. No, yeah, we went there. I knew where he went. He doesn't. I forgot where I went. No. But to be fair, I bought that when we were there. Somebody sniffing other posts up on Facebook and tags him in everything, and that's how I see it. Yeah, it's, it's not me doing it. It takes so much do. for me not to just troll you on those posts. I don't. I don't do the Facebook that often. Uh, I, I see it all the time. Often. I'm like, I'm gonna troll them. I want to say <laughs> something. I was like, oh, he didn't post it. Ugh. That's fine. You you can say something. I, you won't, I won't respond to you. I, I don't say anything. I, Did he tell you that he said this during an episode? <laughs> hey, FYI, I may have comment on uh, uh, one of your wife's <laughs> posts. Don't read it. Also, P.S. Not my fault. <laughs> Shove with that. Sorry, not so great. Great. <laughs> on your face. What happened there? You know damn good. Well, <laughs> just, just, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a, that's really weird too, seeing as I'm the one that likes candy and snacks. Mm. Yeah, see, I get, yeah, Cheez-Its. Yeah, I have weird things that I'll eat around the house that I have to have in the house. Like Cheez-Its is one. I think cheese is another one. I have a problem with cheese as well. I think we all get, we all eat a lot of cheese. I didn't take any majority of it. Like cheese sticks or like we, the, the baby bell. house or we? No, it's uh, her and I. It's like collect. Okay. <laughs> she does a lot of the, she likes the charcuterie stuff like that as well. So she does a lot of those. So like if we'll do yeah, like. Lunchables. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> we'll do like the, the movie night or whatever for her yeah. and I will, we'll do. But she gets, she's. She's the bougie one when it comes to cheese. Me, I'm just, I'll go get like high V brand cheese and slice it up and put it on crackers. I don't care. You know, no, she needs like. Or Gouda she, or that's like that's her. I, Gouda I don't. Or... I'm fine with sharp cheddar pepper jack or whatever, <laughs> stuff like that. That's that's me. That's what I grew up Like cheese and crackers, that's what I grew up on like that. So I grew up I'm on fine too, with guess it. what? I mean, well, I'm, I joined I'm the Air Force. The, I'm good with the, I, I get bougie, I guess, with a club cracker over a, a zest of, a zest of saltine. You know, like, I don't really care, but, like, <laughs> she's just, like, the Havarti with all, like, the, the weird rectangle crackers and the salami and all the other shit cut up. And she puts, I don't understand the jellies. Like, I'm not going to take time to, to smear jelly on something. No. You give me mustard or something like that, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some of that. I'm not taking this Since black raspberry. cultured swine. I'm not a cultured. I've had it. I just don't see the point. I don't a want cultured I don't want swine. all that. No, I, I don't, don't want to put I jelly on it. I will tell you. I'm not I, making a peanut butter jelly cracker. Look, don't do that. That's not the same. does not taste very good. I've done that. Uh, it's not bad. Is this like, saltines? My, my, Perfect. <laughs> Saltines are good just by themselves. Um, my wife and I, we eat a lot. Of, we that, eat, they are. We we catch a lot of shit from my mother in law when like she asks like, "What did you guys do for date night? Or what did you guys?" And we were often like, "We stayed home. We grabbed food. We came home. Why didn't you go out? Yeah, that's... there's fucking people out. Why? Like, <laughs> I don't think you understand. Like, she's Nobody still, see us she's still and trying to talk to us. I've worked retail mm. for, for all my life, with the exception mm. of the sitting military. Like, fuck people, fuck them. Like, yeah. If reality, if we live closer and we could like go somewhere, I don't, I don't think I'd meet up with you. It would have to be like, okay, it's either at your house or my house. But we're not. I'm not going somewhere where there's a chance somebody could stop by and interrupt me, or I have to talk to. You. It would have to be in the. The safety of my house or your house. <laughs> Not like buy an office space and be like, okay, no one will come in here because there's still a chance that some fucked hard is going to come on and be like, you open? Bitch, we're not even a store. What makes you think this is a store? And for you, those, I was like, nobody does that bullshit. I've worked in retail long enough. 
that people try to open the door even when the lights are off. No one's there, and they're just there, knocking on the window. Are you open? Why, why are, are you, you open? open? I know the time slot's right down below, and it says it says ten, and it's it's currently nine. Why are you open? Fuck. We're done. So, so I think ours is about a movie theater. That's about ours, and and we'll go to yeah. dinner <laughs> randomly. Yeah, we'll do dinner and movie. <laughs> that's the most people interaction. Yeah, even then, yeah. like we do a dinner, it's like, oh, can we have that table over there? Way over there. Nobody's by us. Um, but no, like we went this last time we went to Hive and we picked up entertainment crackers. I know you won't understand any of this, uh, but she got to pick out her Is it entertainment crackers. Yeah. Entertainment crackers. They're a special type of, I don't know how to explain it to you. It's a cracker. Fucking sparkle when you open the pack or what the fuck's entertaining about it. It goes, Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Canceled. Uh, no, so we get those, and they're they're kind of like bigger crackers, like that maybe. Okay, I'm sure I've seen them. They're Ivy. Um, if but... I slapped them on a fucking coochie board before. <laughs> That's something totally different. <laughs> so this is gonna be a short episode, but it's not now. No, so we went and we got that, and my wife really likes this. Uh, blueberry something goat cheese it comes on a log and just kind of this this hey, drives, dirty friend. This no drives me up a wall where like you can get a little four ounce log of this it's like five bucks or you can get 12 ounce log for 649 it's like well i guess i'm buying the 649 it's almost three three times the mass like what why is the small one even a thing? I've worked retail way too long. That bothers me so much. Um, you know, so she'll get that and I'll do, I typically do Gouda and I have like two or three different types of Gouda cheeses or Havarti or something else. It just depends. And then we'll go out and get a bunch of meats like prosciutto, two, three different types of salami, pepperoni, you name it. Bougie ass stuff. And we make a board and we just sit there. But this last time we got uh raspberry habanero jam and well one my wife's like oh this would this is another pet peeve my wife's like oh i bet this would be really good on like a grilled cheese because she makes real cheese and she puts like grape jelly on it i don't think that's good i think that's disgusting i get told it's grapes and cheese it's just like wine and cheese no it the fuck not Alcohol. I told a kid cheese. <laughs> Put jelly on my grilled cheese now. I want. That's the funny thing too. If I make her the grilled cheese, I like here's your grilled cheese. I want. I want jelly on it. Here's your grilled cheese. <laughs> oh shit! You can have it with tomato soup. It's the only acceptable thing. Um, but no, it was it was actually really good. With like, we take the entertainment cracker, put a dollop of the the raspberry habanero jam on it. Your meat and cheese and then like the spicy with the creamy everything just worked really well together you're like oh this is so good so, yeah. i can't your I, look your wife would understand and would be like yes, no that i get like it fucking amazing i get it I, I i make them everything else i get it i get the whole thing but like even when i'm when i'm eating from one I don't stack it like a fucking sandwich. Like I'm Tom and Jerry trying to stack this shit out and, and carry it and smash it down. Show them about Wait, I'll take two on. or three things and I'll put it together. I can't do like stacking of everything and you put it all like, together. I put like the cracker, the jam, the meat, the cheese. No, it's too it. much work. I just grab it and go. Get there. <laughs> fucking assembly line. No, I just grab a couple of things and walk away. I'm like, oh, I'll try this one together. It's like one thing and another thing. I feel a taste what's there. I don't want to have a plethora of flavors going off of my mouth with your entertainment crackers and everything else sparkling and exploding who's, in my who's mouth. Who's a fucking child now? I have a sophisticated 
well-trained palate. You were over here like, I have to be able to taste the turkey. Mmm, yeah, turkey's so good. Out. It can't touch my crackers. Mmm, so good. I'm going to eat my, no, listen, my cold jack just, cheese. Mmm, mm, so good. Well, yeah. I, I, I'm so glad I got to eat all three of them. Sorry, that shit's expensive also if you want to go all out. Like, you, you explain like getting like prosciutto and like all other like salamis. I'm like, bro, that's like 50 bucks in meat you're getting right there. That's a lot of fucking bitch money for meat. You get a variety pack, and it's not that much. Well, I, get, I get that, but it, it's still expensive. That's a lot of fucking like to do a decent charcuterie board. Shit's expensive, and the, the crackers right and now. the two variety packs cost us twenty five dollars. This, this podcast is taking a swerve turn to the bougie side. <laughs> Maybe it's a low point. We're talking about fucking charcuterie boards and arguing about how much they that cost. That's not what you called it earlier. That's not what you called it earlier. I do refer to it as a coochie board, yes. And that will be our title, too. <laughs> what do you have on your coochie board? Please please break it down. I'm going Welcome to the last it. episode. I'm going I'm to write that down on your coochie board. Let me just write this down one second. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. They'll understand. But no, we have other friends that'll make them and bring them in. It's like designs and everything else of like curb shit everywhere and like you can't read it pickles and <laughs> pickles and jam and olives and everything else i'm like it's a lot of work for you know once one little kid shoves their hand across the entire thing all your work is is gone why is there a child touching your coochie board there's well see now now you say it like that it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't transition well at all that's what you, you were just saying about when you said i didn't, you didn't use that verbiage when incorporating a child at all <laughs> <laughs> you have now derailed the entire conversation and everybody listening has now become dumber well you said you, i did not say you, it in that you said what is on your coochie board? I said, I'm going to take that as a title. You repeat it again in a different, different manner. And then you go on to talk about having pickles and olives and everything. And then the moment a child reaches across, it all segue together. You started with this and said a child was reaching across it. You never. I didn't say it the way you did. Therefore, no, you I didn't did. put it in the same sentence. I didn't put it in the same sentence. Maybe the same paragraph, not the same sentence at all. It basically was. It was a semicolon. And, we, and, it and we have kids that like that stuff too. So yes, they will eat from the charcuterie board as well. So yes, there are plenty of them as they, as they do snack on. That's what that or fruit. They tried to do a fruit one as well, and that was a disaster. Juices were flying everywhere. It didn't work at all. <laughs> that sounds even worse when you call the other thing. <laughs> But again, it's not the same sentence like you did it. It's in the paragraph. It's like a hell of a night over there. Uh, that was fucking it's interesting. weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it happens. I, I, I only do those three. I will say normally I do like meat and cheese. That's it. It wasn't until we got this jam. My wife definitely does the pickles. She doesn't stack it. I'm going to talk about bougie. She is semi bougie. We have chopsticks have uh, like a t-rex or a dolphin on it or unicorn they're meant to help ones? yeah yeah she'll okay. take those and she'll eat them eat her jar of pickles but she'll take her her sandwich eat it take a pickle. <laughs> i don't like pickles. i, I, can, catch me I can get i i do the same thing with uh <laughs> when we go to her family's house and yes Hispanic, so we have a lot of tortillas and things like that. I, I don't make tacos. Chopsticks. I'm like, I was like, what? No, I know we don't make tacos with like the tortillas. I normally take the tortilla and I roll it up. No, I don't do. I don't. No, no taco is formed. I take the tortilla and I roll it up like just in a, just a like long what? piece. Just like what? A long, a long tortilla rolled <laughs> up. That's why you go like. Hold on. It's because I roll it up. As I'm trying to think of what the hell they're called, I can't figure out the roller things in Quick Trip. Tor tornadoes. And that's not with no filling. Um, and then I'll just, I'll eat whatever like the, the filling would be or whatever, and I just take a bite of the tortilla. 
if I I'm do it having, that way. I'm having tacos at my house. It's if I make a taco. If I'm going to like when I hung out with my buddy who, you know, from Mexico or from Puerto Rico, I will just take the tortilla, like scoop eat. So I made a taco in front of them and, and they did not like that. So, hey, I'm sorry, I'm in fucking Kansas, bitch. They ain't no way in there. It's corn tortillas. Corn tortillas corn tortillas do not stay it's together handmade. very well if you make a taco. Handmade. And I cannot Yeah, the corn the moss the corn tortillas. They don't yeah, they do not stay together. Once something liquid touches it, it does not stay together. It drives me nuts. And then of course I get made fun of because I want the flower ones because they stay together. They hold things in. You get called a gringo a lot? Like I get the feeling. I get cut. I get called Wero a lot. Oh, okay. Gringo, Gringo's Wero, Wero is a lot worse. Well, yeah, I, I was like, more uh, direct. Mm, it's a lot more direct. <laughs> ah. It's more direct. Survey. I get called. If, if we reach those people who understand. <laughs> the. I'm trying to think. No, I get called that. I get called but when I was bartending, I called Widow a lot more at the bar. Because I mean, even Gringo in uh, in Mexico is just a burrito. Just they don't have, they don't make burritos in Mexico. Yeah. An American thing. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that. Look, hold on. But no, there's <laughs> not typical. Since we're on that subject of Mexican food, it's not whatever. Have you seen? Uh, she's a female comedian and she talks about she's lat Latina and she's like has anybody ever ever wondered or not wondered what is it has anybody ever noticed that Mexican food is the best food and don't get me wrong there's lots of countries in Central America that makes so much better food but we are number one <laughs> doesn't matter where you come from Empanadas, that may not be 100%, you know, Mexican, but it's Mexican food and we get the credit. Flautas, <laughs> not 100% Mexican, but we get credit for it. We are the king, king of cuisine, <laughs> even if it's not ours. True. <laughs> she, no, I she, would agree. She said something else and she's like, the best comparison you can do is uh, something about we are. Mexicans are to the food culture as America's did to the Native Americans. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah, that's, that, that's yep. Yeah. Because I've, I've had friends here who I used to work with who are from Puerto Rico. And I'd be like, oh, you brought Mexican food. Uh, no, this is Puerto Rican food. Mm. Yeah. You... No. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you from Puerto Rico? <laughs> you, you might get stabbed. You, you might get. You will get stabbed. He was sure. Still might. You. you will. <laughs> he was sure you. That's doesn't matter. The, the knife is probably longer. So. I'm going to just Anyways. <laughs> no, it, it was a funny comedian joke that I heard. I thought it was hilarious. I laughed. If it wasn't true. Fun, Fucking TikTok. I could have sent it to you. Every time I try to send you something, I either send it to somebody else or it's like, ooh, we can't send it to them right now. You sent too many or it's still trying to send a TikTok to somebody else. It's like, do anything. Don't send shit to people. Send it to two people. My wife. I think you fucked up your entire TikTok. All the fucking time. All the time. I mess around with it way too much. I like to play with the settings I probably shouldn't touch. Um, on a, on a whole different side note, it, it, I, I wanted to talk to you about this because your tangent, my tangent, again, pure fucking random episode. Um, that's what we'll end on. So let's say, I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase it. Let's say you are asked a question and there are easy answer easy solution medium solution hard solution very fucking hard what's the solution you give right away 
Depends on the person. Normally, if I absolutely average. if I absolutely do not like you, I will give you the shittiest answer possible solution, and make it extra. If I have to, if I don't have to help, you're getting the worst solution. No, no, solution no. Ever. So okay, I'll just explain because you you are sucking ass. As I get what you're coming from, it's like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't have to help you. If I hate you, it's gonna be fucking long. Depends on the person. Want to make it look dumb? Yeah, the easy so. solution. So, I told you last week about all the construction going around town. It's mm -hmm. wrecking fucking cars. Like, left and right. Anyways. Uh, four days ago? Five days ago? I don't know. Last week, at some point, and shortly after we recorded the episode. Uh, Thursday time, Friday time frame, I was outdoor dashing and realized my AC is not pumping cold air anymore. Went to the passenger side. Ice cold, driver's side, hot, like swamp ass, hot. Called around. Yeah, I got told, you know, all right, sorry, I Googled. It said, oh, if one side's pushing hot air, one side's pushing cold air, you need to replace the actuator. But before you do that, take the negative off, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, put it back on, and that should reset the system. I do that, okay, doesn't work. It gets cooler though, but it's still like hot air. It's just not giving me swamp ass right away. Call around and I go to, I will always call AutoZone compared to any dealership around town because the dealers fucking suck ass. Call AutoZone, explain the situation. And they're like, yeah, come on down, we'll order the part. We got an actuator. Cool, it's 50 bucks. It's supposed to be in the next day. Call in, check the part location. Uh, she got the store manager basically who's like, yeah, hey, that part, we can't order for you. I don't know who ordered it for you. They find out he's been fucking up a lot. Long story on him. He sucks at his job. Uh, because they even tells him you're unable to order this product at this time because there's a recall. So she's like, sorry, you can't do it here. It's like, okay, cool. Do you know another solution? And she's like, ah, no, I, I, I can't think of any other reason why your car would be pushing hot air on one side, but colder on the other. It sounds like your actuator. And they're using other jargon. I was like, okay, cool. Dude, I fucking, I, coding, programming, geeky, nerdy gamer, me. Cars? No. Oh shit, <laughs> I can Google. So anyways, so I call the dealership. It has to be a Hyundai dealership. Because if it's a recall, a Hyundai dealership has to be the one that does it. So mm -hmm. it's free. So I call over. By the way, actuator, 60 bucks after tax. Call over to Max Motors here in Manhattan. I had no problem name blasting. They suck. Uh, called over and I got the parts department. I said, like, hey, or the service department. I was like, hey, this is what's going on. Can you check to see if I have a recall? I'm like, okay. No, you don't have a recall. Uh, but we can let's schedule you on the books. Okay, well, let's not do that yet. I'd rather just buy the part and do it myself because I've seen the video. Super easy. It's literally seven screws. Unplug, plug in, seven screws. I can do that. Mm -hmm. I built computers with less screws or even more screws at times. So whatever. So she, he's like, okay, well, you need to go over your parts by ass. How much is it? Just out of curiosity, how much is it? Can I get free diagnostics? We don't do free diagnostics. The fuck? No. Since when? No. The, no. The, well, they, the, they normally don't. So hold on. The dealership before them, Flint Hills, used to. If you bought the car from them, you got, mm. you got, no matter how long you've had it, you got free diagnostics. I bought my car from that dealership before they switched names. And the dealership originally said, we're going to honor all prior commitment, commitments. They don't. They uh, skated back on that really quick. But anyways, so he's like, well, it's $100 for a diagnostic fee. And then if we find anything wrong, we have to fix it that day. So then it's $169 an hour plus part cost. I, okay, well, how much is the part? Oh, it's it's going to be anywhere from like three to $400. Like, bro, I can get that same part over at like AutoZone for 50 bucks. Well, it's not the same one. Is it a Duralast, blah, 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 blah? Well, yeah, but it's a different strength. You just told me it's the same model. So it's not. 
you're just fucking up cost but pass me over to the parts the lady rings up and she's like oh yeah we can tell you the part for like 80 bucks i was like cool 30 dollars up can you order that no all actuators that fit your model of car and others have a recall oh that's where the recall comes in okay cool so i can't order the part nope but we can schedule on the books to get it fixed how <laughs> you can't use the part well like we can do we can fix the part itself so you can fix my current actuator yeah how much is that well it's a hundred dollars for an inspection uh it's another hundred dollars to inspect the part and see if we have everything and then it's 169 dollars per hour and then there's a repair cost it's like okay so for like 500 bucks is what we're thinking well it's probably honestly going to be closer to about seven eight hundred Fuck you for an $80 part? No. It's like, okay, is there any solution? Any other solution? Anything else that could cause this? Nope, sounds like your actuator. There's nothing else. There's no other, like, it, it could be, like, low on oil. Like, I don't know much about cars. So I was like, it could be because, like, my car needs an oil change. It's like, my coolant maybe is a little low. It's not low. Uh, any, like, I'm going through all the fluids I know. And she's like, nope. If that's happening, it's 100% your actuator. It's not, by the way. Spoiler. It's like, fuck you, whatever. I'm not doing this shit. Hung up. Called around to the mom and pops around here. And I finally got a hold of one guy. And he goes, uh-huh. Like, tell him the whole story. He goes, uh-huh. Okay, okay. Does it seem like it's cooling down? I was like, well, it's not. Like, it's definitely hot. And then if we drive, for like, 20, 30 minutes, we get the engine going. Yes, it goes from like super hot to hot to like uncomfortable heat, like a summer day. And he goes, dude, that ain't your actuator. Cool. What is it? It's not, no, no, man, it's not. And he's trying to explain why it's not the actuator. I was like, I don't care. Yeah. You're helping me. So I'm going to shut up and listen to you. So he's explaining everything. And I was like, okay, what do I do? It's like 20 minute conversation at him expense. What do I do? He goes, Go, go ask for an AC recharger. It's like, what the fuck is an AC recharger? Yeah. And he, he's, like, he's like, you need to ask for an AC 134A recharger kit. I go, cool. In the AC one. <laughs> it's like canned air for your car. So I'm like, I'm so fucking confused. Like, bro, it, it's a freeze on or something. I was like, cool. Freon. Cool. Freon. So I was like, cool, cool, whatever. Where do I get that? He goes, I mean, you can get okay, anywhere. He's, he's like, you can get at Walmart, <laughs> but I don't recommend it because uh, we've had people who will go get it from Walmart and it says AC 134, but it doesn't fit your connection. Um, I recommend AutoZone. Go to them and they'll let you actually try the connection onto your car and see if it fits. If it does, buy it. If it doesn't, buy a different one. I was like, oh, is there different models? He's like, yeah. So he explains that. I go, universal fit and bullshit. I was like, cool, man. You know, you've been fucking amazing. Like you've helped me so much. I explained even more, told him all the bullshit. He goes, yeah, that sounds about right for Max. We get a lot of their customers flow over to us because they're just their shit. Nobody likes Max Motors. So I went, yeah, I see why. Fucking asses. So he's like, all right, man. Well, you know, if you come in, I'll give you half off for your old change since, you know, all this. I was like, cool. I need that. I mean, I can do it myself, but I feel like I owe it to him now. How much is your oil change? Not for you, it'd be 20 bucks. Done deal. Okay, it's hot shit right now. <laughs> 20 bucks for me not to do it. So, yeah. Go over to AutoZone. Tell the guys, like, hey, I need this AC 134. Like, hey, I just need it. And can I test it? He goes, yep. Yeah, here you go. Uh, he's walking me through how to do it. Get home. And I leave the car running, open the doors all the way open, like he said. Got underneath the hood. Had to have the wife hold the hood open because it doesn't latch. And we don't have a little stick. It's never latched. Yep. It drives me up a wall. Why doesn't it latch? I've Googled this. There's no solution. Uh, so I'm doing And you have to leave the car running. And if you know me, um, if you know me very well, I burn myself at least once a month. At least. It's typically when cooking. Smoking or grilling. Because I'm... I, Lapse of judgment and lapse of remembering what I'm doing. So I'm getting down there and it's literally engine, 
and pipes that are scorching hot. So I have a gap about that big to reach my can in the arm. <laughs> and I'm like, can't. And he's like, you have to, you have, you have to jerk it up and down. I know you should know what that feels like because you're a dude. I'm like, I mean, you're not wrong, but not really, you know. Yeah. Which you should be saying. Yeah. So I was like, whatever. Like, that's normal. normal. It's fine. So I'm doing it. And I, uh, while well, I'm doing it, my wife's like, are you supposed to have the car on? I was like, yeah, they said have a car on. Like, I watch videos and everything. I got mixed reviews on videos. Some say shut it off, some, some say turn it on. So I was like, I'm going to do exactly how they say. They said, you had to let it flow so where it gets in there. I was like, cool, 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 cool. So I'm doing it. He goes, I remember the guy. He's like, do you, it tells you to fill it up to green. They mean like get it in the green. Yeah. Don't just not to the green. Get it in the green. You should be about 45 to 48. Don't get to that 50. 45, 48. I was like, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm doing it. My fucking shit was halfway on low, like 10 to 15. God damn. Apparently they do this when you're doing a oil change. I didn't know that. No, he told me. Yeah, they can. So <laughs> that is not on the fucking checklist I have for how to do an oil change. And the process no, you do like oil and transmission, like how many times you should do this. I have a fucking schedule for this shit. I'm on there. Some of them do. I don't know. It's a lot of times it's a special request. So to have a charge. It's an upcharge also. The, 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 some of the ones right here. Yeah. The guy I'm gonna take the oil change to or for <clears> he does it. And then the guys <clears> I normally go to, they do it. But since I haven't been to them in like six months because I'm doing it myself, explains it. But anyways, so I'm doing it. I don't burn myself. I got lucky at the time. So I'm doing it. And that shit just boom, done. Ice fucking cold air. The it's only nice only person who was more excited than me was my son <laughs> he is so into car i'm not into cars and my son is so into cars so he used to help me with like the oil change he used to help me with like putting the oil in the draining oil he used to help with the, the drip pan he loves doing that stuff he doesn't get like get underneath the car because i have a fucking phobia but this car just Crush I, like, I don't like doing brakes <laughs> Even though I know how, I don't like doing it because I have a phobia of this brake. This thing's just gonna fall off and land on there. I'm not gonna be able to get it up. It's just a whole radio. So, uh, but yeah, he was. He went. Out, he went. Oh, damn it! I'm in the driver's seat. Passenger seat is empty. He's like right here, behind me, on the console. He goes, Dad, you did it. He's patting me on the head. It's so cold now. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I gotta sit down. It's up my underwear now. It. <laughs> but he ran in and he was so excited and that got me and that's originally why i was gonna ask you because the fucking hoops at no point in this whole fucking process of technically five days did anybody say hey why don't you try this very very cheap solution thirty dollars for a can and if yeah. that doesn't work Okay, then we can look at the actuator, which is, by the way, on the rate call, so you can't get it anyways. But let's try that. And even if it's a temporary solution, you get to buy, you know, three to four cans over the year. Cool. Winter's almost here, or fall's almost here, so my weather's going to change. Maybe. It's fucking Kansas. I may have 100 degrees all the way through December. But I was, like, it pissed me off so much. So, like, I just, I, I don't understand the logic because when I do my IT or when I'm troubleshooting anything or when I was a salesperson, I always went for the easiest solution. It's like, here's an easy, medium, and hard. Tier one, tier two, tier three. What type of help do you mm -hmm. want? I'll explain this very stupidly. It's where anybody can understand it. Oh, you speak the same jargon? Cool. Advance. Oh, you, you actually understand. Expert. Like, I have a wide range that I can speak to on any level and make people understand. And these people instantly hear, I don't know shit about cars. And they go, I'm going to give them the middle option, which is not possible. I'm not tell them that's the option. It just blew my Oh, mind. yeah. No, I, I almost I had an issue. You, honestly, because <laughs> I was like, maybe he'll know. <laughs> I, I probably would have said something about recharging it, but yeah, maybe. I don't know. I had an issue with my car. I, 
You're lucky I have AC. I have had uh, AC in 10 years of my car. I haven't had, because I had one car that it went out. I had a hole in a condenser, and I was not going to have the condenser replaced because that's like over $1,000 to have that replaced. I'm like, I'll just suck it up. I'm like, I just drive to and from work. That's it. We have another car, do whatever. So then I got a new car, hole in the fucking condenser within like what, a month. What, what brand is this? Or what model? Right. I had a Pontiac yeah, and, a, and a Chevy. Oh. So it's two, two different, just whatever. It just happens. I, I caught a rock and it happened. Mm. So, and I parked my car and I saw the, the Freon spraying out. And I'm like, great. Awesome. And all of a sudden, hot air. I'm like, motherfucker. So I've gone and luckily, thankfully, got a new car now. So I have AC after 10 years. And thankfully on Monday when it was 140 fucking degrees outside, I had AC really? for once. But again... I don't like using it because obviously if I get stuck in traffic and stuff like that, I don't use it. Like I'm hard headed. Obviously, you overheat the car if you're stuck in it for too long. Obviously, yes, cars are different now. But I had an issue with the last car, and I knew the issue. And I had a guy, somebody's dad had a guy that wanted to come look at it, who was a mechanic. It's like, okay, yeah, fine, cool. That's one thing. I don't have to deal with it. I have an idea what it is, but I don't know for sure how to fix it. I know it was the issue before because the same exact issue was happening. So he shows up. I was like, hey, I think this is the problem. If you could just look at that, and I'll pay you for your time. I don't care. Just look at that and let me know if that fixes it. He's like, okay, yeah, well, what's the problem? It's, 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 it's not starting. Like, it, it'll turn, turn over and everything else, but then he just dies. Okay, cool. So he goes through everything and starts going through the engine, everything else, pulls out, you know, a couple of different plugs. Like, oh, this plug's bad. It's like, go get a new plug, and that might fix the issue. Sorry, might? This might fix the issue. You're not guaranteeing this is going to fix the issue. It's okay, cool. I'll go get a $7 part. Put it in, everything. Crank it, nothing. Same exact thing. I said, hey, did you check that one, that, you know, the, the mass, mass airflow condenser? Like, did you check that? Because that's, you know, if, if the mass airflow, if that sensor doesn't go off because it's not getting enough airflow to the engine, yeah. it cuts it off. Yeah. Did you check that? Oh, no, it's, 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 it's something else here. We're looking at this. I'll, I'll get my, he pulls out his, his code reader to plug into the car. Because it's throwing, it's throwing code. It's like, okay, cool. So he's going through that, looking at that. Oh, well, I think it's this. Did you put the right, uh, I, I about punched him. Did you put the right gas in? I said, motherfucker, really? Did I put the right gas in? Yeah, I grabbed the green one, right? The one that comes out looking like ruby red syrup. Diesel, right? That's what goes in here. It's my favorite it's color, green. I'm like, oh, it's like, I was like, dude, I was like, just check the, the mass airflow. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll look at a couple things. So I kind of have to walk away because when he asked me the whole gas thing, I want to punch him. It pissed me off. Fucking drop kicked it. I'm like, really? So then I go out there and, and we're getting to the point now where I'm like, okay, it's been two days. You've been out here twice. This is not two consecutive days. It's like two days in a week. So yeah, my car's been down, can't drive it. I've Googled stuff. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to be an asshole because I've already had him come out. I don't want to go out there and just look at it. And if I fix it, I'm be really pissed. I'm not going to pay the guy. So I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm being nice. I'm being courteous because this is a friend of her dad's letting him do his thing. And he's not like an older guy either. He's probably a little bit younger than me. So I'm looking at him like, shut the fuck up. I'm looking at, uh, at everything and I'm like, okay. What are we doing next? What's he do? He goes in the car, and if you hit the gas pedal, obviously the engine will run, but it like sputters. Yeah. So he floors it. He's flooring my flooring it. Engine is just revving like crazy. I'm like, you blow my engine, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. I will kill you in my in my driveway. Yeah, and he does this for 30, 30 minutes. I'm like, I'm like, what is what is what is the point of this? He's literally just sitting in my car on his phone, revving my engine. I'm like, what are you doing? I can't understand that any purposes. All you're doing. Is is racking up high RPMs on an engine that has over 150 thousand miles on it. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're peaking almost at 200 thousand at this point. I have over 200 thousand on it now, but like that's high engine. That's high RPMs. You're just idling and revving. I'm like, you fuck my car up. We're gonna have a serious problem. So we get to the point. I said, stop. I said, look at the mass airflow. I said, just look at it. I want to see you physically look at it. He opens it up. It looks like because before I had bought the car and there had been, um, I had I parked in an area where like Phil Mouse got into it and they built a fucking nest in it. And so it killed it one time. So I had to just pull all the cotton, everything else they pulled into it, and blow it out. It was fine. Um, 
because it was when I was in the military and I was gone for two and a half weeks oh, and I yeah. parked it close to close to a ditch area behind my house and field mouse had gone in there and, and did it. So I said, check that. I said, I know I'm not going to have any field mouse build up in there this time, but you know, whatever dirt leaves, whatever can build up in there. He pulls it out, kind of looks at it. And see, I see him, I kind of walk away and I kind of see him turn his back and kind of brushing, brushing it and everything else and puts it back. He goes right over and it starts up. I said, oh, okay, I think we're, I think we're good. I think after we did everything, I said, yeah, okay. Here's your money. Find a new job. You're obviously not good at this one. Uh, and he left. I was, uh, I was pissed. I, I paid him for his time. I was like, you, you came, you did something. You did this. I had to tell you what to do, but I paid him for his time. I wasn't an asshole. But I told him, I said, you might want to look at who trained you or what YouTube videos you watch because a lot of stuff you did I've never seen any mechanic do and I grew up around mechanics. My dad was in mechanic he'd like yeah. my dad was a parts manager for all my life. I've never seen anybody go, Yeah, I'm gonna rev the engine for thirty minutes and see what happens. I was like, always I don't, told you don't do that. Like you should not no. rev your engine at all. Like it's no, like it's it's it. it's not good for it, but the fact he did it for thirty minutes, I I just sat there, I'm like, okay. What are you gonna stop? I would I mean the car is Video to your oh my father god <laughs> like this is really you me? like really yeah so i was like and i and it fixed right away too so i was i was pissed but yeah uh, i would pay him for the time it took him to pull that out dust it off <laughs> mm. that's, yeah I, I will say that's the thing like i i have no shame in this i've mentioned it several times on this podcast even even when we game it's like i have no shame i will google and youtube the shit out of things especially when it comes to the car uh and if i feel like as as of right now even if i feel like there is oh it could be a or b i'll call lance yeah. or i'll text lance like hey man this is what's going on and he can troubleshoot most things with no issue like uh when was it may i think it had to be may april or may earlier this year uh anytime we drove you could hear what sounds like grinding but at the same time rattling, it was just a really obnoxious noise and we could not figure out. And like I like, research and research, I, I text Lance, hey man, you know, this was going on. He's like, okay, send me a video. So I sent it to him, he was like, okay, I kind of hear, is it when you're driving? Oh yeah, he goes, send me a video. I will try. Um, I live in a hands-free city. If I get caught with my phone up, I'm going to like, I'm going to be in trouble. The phone's supposed to be in the console. So I put it up on the dash. I was like, just why I can't see my speedometer. So I, if it sounds like I'm going 50, I'm probably going 50 because I can't see it. That's where my phone's sitting right now. He's like, okay, no problem. So turning everything and he goes, okay, it's, it's definitely A or B, uh, but it's a serious issue. You need to take it to a mechanic and have them, have them look at it. I was like, oh, really? How much, how, how, how drastic is it? Like, can I go a hundred miles with it? Or 200 miles technically, or should like get the shit taken care of? Yes. I don't know how it's still driving now, but it sounds like it's something with your transmission or engine. I was like, oh, fucking great. Awesome. Like, yeah. like is there any way it could be something? He's like, well, you could just have something loose underneath the hood. I was like, not great. That's kind of where everything's yeah. at. That's like saying, well, you could have something with like a valve in your heart. It's like, oh, really? Just a valve in my heart awesome so i took it in and i told the guys like hey man can uh like it's making this awful noise i sent him the videos and could you also replace my my, my light bulbs for my headlights and my uh my tail lights and also a brake light that's like my top brake light whatever that is where it looks like it's attached to the ceiling i don't know how to access that one so like if you could replace it that'd be great he's like yeah we can do it it's like 20 bucks and replace all eight of your light bulbs. I didn't know I had eight light bulbs until that day. I have eight light bulbs. So he did that. And then the guy's like, he calls me up even. And he goes, I, I fixed this. I fixed the problem, but you're going to want to come in. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Wife drops me off. I go over there. I was like, is it running? He goes, oh yeah, it's running. You're good. I was like, what's the problem? I've taken take my car to this guy for years at this point. 
And he's like, uh, your hubcap was loose. Hmm? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He goes, who's been changing your oil? I was like, well, I just did it for the first time. Like I did the whole, I drained it, everything. I also did my brake pads that day. And he goes, yeah, you just didn't tighten it at all. I was like, no, I tightened it. I just didn't stand on it. So it was arm strength versus dropping 240 plus pounds on this. It's just arm strength. And he goes, yeah, you need to drop your whole fat ass on it. Rude. Got it. Cool. I text Lance and I say, hey, it's just my hubcap. He goes, your hubcap makes that noise? I go, yeah. So I had to go out there and show him a picture of my tire. And it says this plastic hubcap. He goes, I had never heard that before. Well, they charge you for it. Oh, it's free. I don't like $20 for lights. And he goes, that, that sounds like, and he sent me a couple links. He's like, this is what it sounds like. Basically, the compartment and the transmission is dead. And the entire thing's about to die. Or cylinders in your engine are firing alternately compared to how they should be. Should all be firing at once or like one side at a time. But you should not be having like one, then two, then three, then four. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's not bad. It's cool. Well, $20. <laughs> Awesome. Or your hubcap is loose. Or five thousand dollars was going to be the repair cost that I was quoted. Yeah, like at five thousand, I'll take that five thousand. I'll go put down a new car. I'm not not investing yeah. more money. There's a cap on this, but mm. we've gotten really lucky. On simplest things. Yeah, thank God. But yeah, it's uh, it's ridiculous, and it got me. To, that whole thing just got me kind of thinking. Yeah both when I worked at retail and customer facing, even now with what I do with like graphic designs and IT, I was like, I don't, maybe I'm a dying breed. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm dying. That's for sure. But like, I just, I don't ever start off with the hardest solution. It's always, have you tried a, a being like the recharger, this will cool, this pushes, you know, fluids into your system. It helps cool everything down. Try this, and if that doesn't work, let's go on to B. Oh, that this uh, disengaging, or sorry, A would have been disengaging the, the neutral from the battery, the negative from the battery. If that doesn't work, go get the recharge. Recharge doesn't work. Okay, let's get the the uh, actuator replaced. Okay, that's not it. It's the full AC unit. Let's replace that. Cool. Like, there's, there's motherfucking steps in this. Mm -hmm. And they just went, nah, homie, we're going to take you all the way over here. And it's recall, but we're not going to tell you because the guy that almost sold you the part, which I didn't buy, thankfully, because he ordered it. And he's like, you pay for it when you pick up. Cool, I've done it before. Couldn't order it. They didn't let him order it, even though I have a receipt that says he ordered it. <laughs> Motherfucker. So I was like, I sweated my ass off for five or six days. I door dashed, too, keeping my silly. Like, it was pushing yeah. hot air all night, too just so fucking miserable I was like, this is bullshit i really hope this works really hopes this work <sighs> did it kid i was excited we were sweating asses off in the car picking up my daughter from school like i felt bad to the point i was like my state says i can leave a five-year-old at home for 30 minutes 30 minutes of an hour he's not quite I think he's he's almost five in a couple months Roll the windows down. They, I, they dealt with it. Fucking, we had them down. Uh, I had, I turned off all the vents but the passenger side because it was the only one pushing cold air. Mm -hmm. God damn. Did everything. I had him take water. We did ice packs because he's still in a booster seat. So I lined his, uh, his base with an ice pack. I lined his back with an ice pack. And those things were melted by the time we got home in 30 minutes. Like that's how it's also been 100, 510 degrees outside all week. Mm. And it just fucking stormed on us today. And tomorrow's supposed to be 100 degrees too. So, yay, humidity. Nice to hear it. Ugh. So, either way, from coochie boards to auto issues. <laughs> yeah. All over the place. Sounds like a real yep. band fan podcast today. That's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, that's what I originally was talk about and ask so like I can't be the only one I don't know shit about cars though so I was like oh I remember Roggle's dad was a mechanic he should know and that, I almost called you really did 
was like, he works. I don't want to take shit from him right now. I won't do anything else other than go. <laughs> the fuck do you want? <laughs> I mean, look at you, a child that can't fix his own car. It's like, I'm not in the mood to deal with. Like, I made a whole fucking scenario in my head. I've already had this conversation five times in my head before I even called you. I know it's going to go one way. I already had this. There was no other way. There was literally just this one sarcastic, <laughs> asshole way that I, I knew it would go. I know the right way to ask this question <laughs> without you doing being a dick back to me. <laughs> and I even I even text Lance originally. I was like, hey, you busy? He goes, yeah, man, I'm really busy. I can't answer anything. I was like, cool. Fuck me. Thanks. The buddy. Hey. He goes, I don't know anything about that. I was like, fuck you. Oh, I'm like going through my list and like you're there. You're typically like number two when it comes to cars. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not dealing, not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with, dealing with it. it. Nope. I did nope. everything in my power. And if I knew if that if that recharge network, I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna have to call him. I'm gonna have to oh, just no. be like, hey. Like, okay, my my AC's blowing hot air for joining a fucking club. <laughs> cool. Ah. There was there was one scenario I legitimately had in my head where this is me making fun of your age, but at the same time you playing into it of me going, Hey, you know, this was going on, hot, cold air. They'd be like, Yeah, well you didn't know back in my day we didn't have ACMs. So like, Fuck you. I don't give a shit back in your day. It's twenty twenty four. I drive a two thousand thirteen. I have no AC. It's required. Oh like, God, I fuck. had full fucking conversations with you. In my right. head. That's like, and I bet you had you, you argued back and forth. I guarantee it, because I do the same oh. exact thing. Oh, all, all the fuck, like I, and, I, and you probably got you probably got mad. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it was the point. Like, what was I doing? I think I was I was editing videos, editing my clips. I'm going through. I was like, okay, and then I had a moment where I was like, oh, is it time to call him? And that's when I sat there. You can see me like kind of uh, looking back and forth on my desk. And it's basically I look over here talking to you, look over here talk to me myself. I'm doing this and my hands are moving. I'm like even gesturing. <laughs> All I see at the corner of my eye, my wife and kids. You okay? In there? How are you doing? Why are you having a conversation? Leave us alone. <laughs> having a conversation alone. talking to myself right now. Well, it kind of sounds like you're mad at yourself. No. Mad at him. He's not even here. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is the argument I'm having in my head. <laughs> like, I was mad. I got to the point, like, I, I ended up slamming my hand on the desk. I was just so pissed off. I was like, it's like when your girl has a dream. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> You're mad at me, and I wasn't even there. We're in the conversation. You know, I'm mad. I don't know. I wasn't even there. Well, guess what you did? I wasn't even there. You still did it in my head. It, it's fucking identical to that, but yeah, I was I was so mad, and I had to stop. And my son even came on. And he came in. He's like, "It's okay, Dad. It's okay." It's like it's really not. I need the hot air gone. <laughs> he's being an asshole. He's not giving me the right answer. <laughs> I always I, I fucking have full on conversations. It's left, right, left, right. Me, oh, yeah. you, me, you, whoever. And it's I did, funny, yeah. I have to remind myself, I go, did I tell him this or did I tell him via me to this? <laughs> Which is why what conversation sentences, was this? Which honestly, why my most of my sentences are off. I don't know if I told you this because it's a going. <laughs> Which him did I tell? Imaginary? <laughs> him. <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. I have it all the time, so yeah. Anyways, yes. welcome to the life of Big. It's awesome. We both do it. It's funny. You're not alone. I'm glad I'm not. I know I'm not alone. The only difference is I admit it openly. The rest of you hide in the shadows like little bitches. Eating off your coochie boards and everything. <laughs> so. But, yeah, that will. Oh, shit. That'll be the end of that. I just realized that be. this was going to be a short episode. Yeah, it was derailed so quickly. <laughs> um, so yeah, check us out Thursday nights. We play Call of Duty. 
till October when he gets phasmophobia. Or he plugs it in the computer and we play World of Warcraft. Uh, we play Call of Duty every Thursday night and we've been on a, I will say, we've been on a hot streak. I've been improving. Fix my aim settings. I lowered them so I don't look like a total spaz. Uh, but we have won one, re- one match every week this season in season five and we are on week six when this comes out so hopefully we get our seventh win technically because we had a double win last week that's right so yeah all right follow us on social media if you guys want to get that's all i really got that's right here's Rago. tune in this we the get carried one, by, by the, way. the real get one. carried by the third the third party guy that we have on our on our team who gets the win for us so yeah we had one we had one like that where he got the win for us and we didn't get it. That dude but also the other, fucking demon, But also, bro. the other one didn't count because you didn't buy me back. So, it didn't fucking count. So, technically, no. We have not won every week because that one didn't count. I was alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you actually got the win. You didn't buy me back, though. So, that one didn't count. I'm protesting that win. I'm keeping so, it. I don't give shit. <laughs> I don't give her many, so. so yeah. <laughs> Yep, check us out Thursdays where we'll argue and maybe win. We'll see. We'll win. To the next one. Bye, bitch.